Welcome to another Walker Tech Minute. The purpose of this Tech Minute is to provide a step-by-step -step adjustment procedure for Walker models equipped with the Eaton Model 7 transmission. The following steps are sequential and should be done in order. Begin by setting the forward travel limit. This is done by moving the forward speed control lever full forward and ensuring that the steering lever actuator arms clear the front of the chassis. There should be about a sixteenth of an inch clearance for both arms. If adjustment is needed, it will be made by adjusting the forward stop bolt as seen here. With the forward speed control fully forward, loosen the jam nut and turn the adjustment until the proper clearance is achieved. Then retighten the jam nut. Next, use a half inch wrench and turn the tracking adjustment nut on a control rod so about two threads show. Then loosen the jam nut on the other end of the control rod at the ball joint on the control arm. With the forward speed control lever full forward, use the half inch wrench and turn the rod counterclockwise until the steering lever moves back slightly from full forward. Then turn the rod an additional two turns. Now using the same half inch wrench, turn the control rod clockwise, causing the steering lever to move forward. Continue to turn the rod until the lever stops moving and then turn it one complete turn and tighten the jam nut at the ball joint. As a note, failure to make one complete turn after the steering lever stops will place excess load on the internal stops of the transmission. Additional turns will reduce the maximum forward travel speed of the mower. The same procedures should be followed on the other transmission. In the next step, we will check for neutral function by blocking up the tractor with the drive tires off the ground. With the forward speed control lever in a neutral park position and the throttle at idle, start the tractor and check for movement of tires. If either drive wheel is moving backward, loosen the jam nut and remove the pin in the forward speed control actuator clevis. Turn the clevis clockwise one half to one turn to move the clevis forward. If both drive tires are moving forward, adjust the clevis backward. Restart the engine and check for wheel movement. Several trial and error adjustments may be required. At this point, it may not be possible to adjust both wheels stationary since a differential adjustment has not been made. In this case, the neutral adjustment should be made for one wheel stationary and the other moving forward slightly. Make sure to reinstall the cotter pin. With the tractor still on blocks, we will now check the neutral safety switch for proper adjustment. To begin, move the forward speed control lever forward out of the neutral park position. While holding the ignition switch in the start position, slowly move the forward speed control lever back towards the neutral park position. Stop when the starter engages and turn off the key. Take note of the position of the forward speed control lever where it passes through the slot in the body. The maximum allowable distance from this point to the neutral park stop point is 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters. If the distance is greater than 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters, the switch will need to be adjusted for quicker activation of the forward speed control safety function. This will be accomplished by bending the actuator tab up slightly. It may take several trial and error adjustments to achieve the 1 8 to 3 millimeter travel distance. The final step is to drive the mower and check for straight ground travel with the deck installed. On a flat level surface with your hands off the steering levers, move the forward speed control lever slowly through the speed range and observe if the mower tracks in a straight line. You can use a cement joint or another straight line on the ground as a reference. If the mower is veering to the right, this means the left transmission is moving too fast and the left tracking adjustment nut needs to be tightened in, shortening the control rod. Use the same logic if the mower is veering to the left, adjust the right tracking adjustment nut as a note, it will take small adjustments to gain straight tracking. Please be aware that over tightening the adjustment nuts when making the tracking adjustments will slow the overall speed of the tractor. Thanks for watching this Walker Tech Minute. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future Tech Minute topics, please send your request to techminute at walkermowers.com.